Quake 3 Arena? Hell yeah! I loved this game back in the day. I remember the huge debate with this versus Unreal Tournament. While I still need to play Unreal, I can say without a doubt this game is freaking awesome. So awesome that there still is a dedicated multiplayer community out there. I wouldn't mind playing with them, but a lot of them are hardcore players, so I'll probably get my ass beat by them. I'll just stick to fighting bots on single player. That'll help boost my self esteem. One of the biggest reasons I love this game is that even though it is multiplayer focused, you can choose to play with any AI bots in any map with any victory conditions of your choosing. Many games used to do this back in the day such as Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy, and Star Trek Elite Force. It's a shame that only a handful of modern games still provide this feature. And speaking of the AI, it's more than just competent. Each of the bots have a certain playstyle. Some are more passive than others, such as Orb and Lucy, but others are more aggressive, such as Xero, Stripe, and Gore, and they are extreme badasses who will make you pay for any mistake that you make. Regardless of who you go against, you will get a good challenge from them. There are five difficulty levels to choose from, ensuring that you fight at the right skill level for you. I wanted to review this game to answer a question that recently came to my mind. Why do I like Quake 3 so much? While I have stated a few things so far, the biggest thing that comes to my mind are the maps. To me, these maps are well crafted and have easily stood the test of time. These maps have that classic Quake vibe to them. Some of them are reminiscent of the first Quake while others take the more sci-fi approach of the second one. Probably the biggest reason why I love these maps are the secrets you can find along the way. For example, this map right here is beloved by the community for Team Deathmatch. I like it because there are two areas you can reach to that will give you some items that are extremely beneficial to your victory. Then you have maps that are very open in outer space. Some people don't like these maps since you're bouncing all over the place on the bounce pads, but I love these because they are perfect for railgun shooting. I can go on and on about each map and what makes it great, but it's on to the weapons. All the weapons in Quake 3 Arena are well balanced, which is essential to this type of game. Minus the BFG 10K, which is supposed to be overpowered, each gun is useful for a different situation. For example, railguns are better for long range, while shotguns are used better for close range. I go on and talk about the single player, but there isn't really anything noteworthy about it. It's pretty much a series of different matches with different bots. You get to the end to face Xero, and that's it. It's a multiplayer game at heart, so go play the multiplayer, or just do a custom match against the bots, which is what I really do myself, because I have no friends and I kind of suck. There are a few power-ups and items to find, such as quad damage, which quadruples your damage output. It's pretty awesome and satisfying when you finally get it a good amount of extras to play with. Not only can you choose your character model, but also customize how your crosshair looks like. It's purely cosmetic, but for some reason picking how my crosshair looks like is just cool. In December of 2000, an expansion pack called Quake 3 Team Arena was released, adding a bunch more content to the game. Yeah, I can do two montages in one video. When this was released, it wasn't well received since the community already made mods similar to this game. I do like this pack because of a few new modes, but I do have some gripes. My first gripe is with the new weapons. They feel completely unbalanced. The chain gun is extremely overpowered in my opinion. Much of the way of custom skirmishes anymore. Sure, you can choose the team you want to go against, but you really have no control on whether or not the fight will be a 2v2 or a 3v3. The maps are, at least to me, not on the same caliber as the ones from the base game. The maps are way too maze-like for my taste, making it really confusing to navigate through. Others are full of jump pads, making the game feel floaty as all hell. As stated with the title, the focus of this pack came with team battles. Now you can issue commands to your AI teammates individually. Different orders can be given depending on the mode that you are playing. 
So for capture the flag, you can tell someone to capture the flag, defend the flag, provide an escort, and a few other options. Orders you can issue to your squad does add a layer of strategy. However, it takes you away from the immersion as you have to pause the game to give out your commands. On to the meat of the gameplay and talk about some of the new modes. The new modes consist of Overload and Harvester. Overload involves both teams trying to destroy each other's bases. It's a fairly simple but fun mode and it does its job well enough. Harvester is a bit more creative than the other. There's a place in the middle of the map that spawns skulls. These skulls appear when a player is killed. One team has to go grab a skull and bring it to the opposite team's base. It's a slight variation of the one flag CTF, but I found it enjoyable since you can carry multiple skulls at once. That is Quake 3 Arena. The expansion pack isn't really amazing, but it does expand on an already great game. The gunplay is great, the arenas you fight in are amazing, the AI is well done, and there is still an active community out there. While I am aware that there is Quake Live that improves upon this game in many ways, I still feel like Quake 3 has held up very well over the years. This is surprising considering first person shooters typically don't age well. I highly recommend it to fans of old school fast paced shooters. There's just a lot to like, and I'm glad to be here to tell you all about it. I'm about 16 years late, but better late than never. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm off to invade someone's channel in a future crossover. This is Powerhouse. Signing off.